since there were no videos on how to take the droid bionic apart on YouTube, I decided to do this video. I bought this one broken and I'm not actually going to repair it. I'm actually going to sell it because something else is wrong with it. Um, but anyway, this is how you take apart if you want to replace the screen or the LCD. First, you're going to take the back cover off. Take your battery out. Pull straight out. Pretty simple. Now, you got screws all around the outside edge. Pretty straightforward. I got a a kit I bought on eBay. It's better quality than the dinky little screwdrivers they give you with the screen repair kits. This is really nice. It's about seven dollars. It's well worth the price. And uh you, know, you take your screws out all the way around and it helps if you have a magnet to put your screws onto but I can set them in here so I won't lose them just wherever you want to uh, keep them so you won't lose them because you're going to need them to put it back together For some reason with this particular model and I fixed quite a few phones they don't all want to come all the way out of the plastic right here some of them do, some of them don't. It really does not matter as long as they're out of the, the frame. The little piece will come undone. See, so yeah, they don't they don't come out. They just kind of sit there and they won't even shake out. It's kind of weird. Don't know what's holding them in there. Pretty quick job though, take this phone apart. I was pleased to see how easy it actually came apart. Seeing how there were no videos on YouTube on how to take it apart, I kind of just had to take it apart on my own and not uh, have any help. Which sometimes that can lead to bad results because you can rip cables and stuff like that if you don't know where they're at. Basically, don't pry on anything too hard. If it doesn't come, start looking for screws or something else that could be blocking it. Alright, now these pry tools you get, you're going to need one of them probably. I mean, you could you could use your fingernail possibly, but you get right at the edge, go all around the phone. You hear stuff popping, that's fine. That's just two plastic clips that are right in there. As you can see, it's starting to come upward. Up top here, be careful because there's a power button right there. Just kind of pry around a little bit. and You can get next to the power button, but do not pry right there. You can pry on the out the corner. It's kind of best to come along from the sides and get it to come up. It's starting to be a pain. I think it's a little screw that, that left in here. Didn't get all the way screwed out. I don't know. They ain't they ain't wanting to come all the way out. There it goes. Now this particular model, I didn't know this until after I took it apart. Because the L C D came like right out of the screen when I pulled the co the back cover off. And most of these phones, their screws below this plastic and with this one here uh... not so much these are the only screws holding it together so it's this little label here you need to get your hair dryer and heat it up hot and then put your hand on the green board right there put your hand right there and slowly pull upward and that little little plastic label here is going to come up if you don't if you don't do this you can rip the digitizer cable, which is right here. This whole thing will come shooting out, and it did it with me, and I'm just lucky. I mean, it's a broken phone. I would have been more careful if it wouldn't have been broken, but I wasn't pulling hard in the first place. I was being careful, but you can never really be too careful with these things. 
especially if you've never taken them apart before. I've already done this label, so it's it's coming off easier the second time. But you want to heat up the hair dryer and slowly just pry up. You can hear stickiness giving way. There it goes. All right. Now you got the cover off. So there's your board. See, I don't know what that is right there. It's it's black. It's like fried. I think somebody took this phone apart before me, and they done something to it because the phone won't come on. And this the thing here had scratch marks onto it, which is your LCD cable. So that's no good. But in order to take it apart, you're gonna want to simply pry underneath this thing here, and you're gonna want to pry that one off. And then there's one right there too. You pry both them off, and this whole board will just pop right on out of there. As you can see, I ain't gotta take it, take them off. You can see the the board. And your your LCD will just simply come out of there. You can pry along the edge real carefully to get the LCD apart. Just be careful with your cables right here, as you, these things rip extremely, extremely easy. That's pretty much how you take apart and fix the Droid Bionic. Really simple. I was really pleased with it. Not too difficult, like some phones. And if you have to, like if you want to place the glass. You're going to need to get a hair dryer and heat this thing up till basically you can't even hang on to it. It needs to be hot. And then you can just use your fingers from the back side like this and just demonstrating you push around the, around the edges. It helps if you do around the, the, the outside edge on each side and get them free. And then you can start at the top and then you can just pry back a little bit and the, the bottom will come free too. But it's pretty simple stuff. So that's how you fix the Droid Bionic.